made it home, I dug her out, then I made her one of my aces Marijuana fragrance, this tree here is outrageous Want me to play in your city, send an email to my agent Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight Outta Boston here, aka The King of Boston Today we are back for episode 13 of the Georgia State Dynasty Thank you guys for your patience, we got one recruit this week on a side note, but thank you guys for your patience and waiting for this episode to come out. You guys, I updated you. If you did watch my channel update, and I really, you know, I, I don't know. I really would appreciate it if you guys watch my channel updates when I put them out there. I don't do it too often, so when I do do it, it's usually pretty important. And one of the main points of that channel update was to let you guys know that Burns was out of town for about a week or so uh, because there was a big wildfire going through the state of Idaho, and he did have to evacuate, so he's back though. He's safe. He is fine. Uh, all of his belongings are fine or whatever, so no need to worry, and, um, you know, we're back, we're, we're better than ever, we're gonna be going back to the uh, usual, like, once every, you know, two or three, four days or so for this series, so we're going up against Arkansas State here in week 13, the final week before we go up against South Alabama in our big rivalry matchup coming up next week, you can take a look at the Sun Belt standings right here as we enter this game, we are 6th in the Sun Belt at 6-4, and 3-2 and two in the conference, you can see South Alabama up there, 3-1 and one in the conference, 5-4 and four overall, so we need a win here today if you want to try and get back up in that upper half and try to make a bowl game. This is huge for us because obviously we're going up against a very tough opponent in Sam Burns. He's a very good player and he has a piece of good team on his hands this year with South Alabama obviously being 5-4 and four so far. So, you know, they got a tough team and it's going to be hard to beat. So we definitely got to take a win here. Hopefully if we win, we can finish maybe top 4 or 5 in the conference and maybe try to get an at-large bowl bit at that point. We'll see. I believe the Sun Belt only has three guaranteed bowl slots in the, uh, you know, in the bowls or whatever. So it's gonna be tough to get in the bowl game from here. Hopefully, maybe we can take these last two games. That would pretty much clinch a spot, give us eight wins. But anyway, getting into this game to get started, we're gonna run a triple read option right here. Ronnie Bell on the keeper picks up 10 yards on the gain. That's gonna be a first down. So here we go. It's gonna be a handoff to Travis Evans on the outside, and Evans move, making some moves right there. He's had a really impressive last couple weeks ever since implementing these sliders. He has done very nicely with the run game. And Travis Evans once again up the middle picks up 12 yards. He's looking nice on this first drive of the game. Georgia State playing in Arkansas State. A very cold night so far in Arkansas. Surprising to see. I don't know if it got that cold in Arkansas, but hey, whatever, man. We're going to find Albert Wilson there. The press coverage did not work for Arkansas State. Wilson picks up 15 yards. Now third and goal inside the 10-yard line. Bell looking, fires to the end zone, and it's going to be intercepted by Lee. Very costly turnover right there by Ronnie Bell. We had a chance to at least put up three points on the board. you got to hold on to the ball there if you're going to make that bad of a throw. So Adam Kennedy here for the Arkansas State, I believe Wolverines, getting to go here with David Oku, hooking up for a nine-yard gain. Now third and two later in the drive. This is going to be a quarterback keeper by Adam Kennedy. He's going to get lit up by Singleton right there, but he does hold on to the ball and does pick up the first down. So it's second and four here for Adam Kennedy. Fires to the right side. That's going to somehow be brought in by Fleming, and Fleming is going to pick up the first down. I don't know how that wasn't deflected or intercepted or anything, but here we go, third and six for Arkansas State. Kennedy's going to find his man, but he's going to be dropped right there. So it's going to set up a fourth and six, and Arkansas State is going to have to punt it away. So on the punt away, this is going to be kicked into kind of the corner area. Albert Wilson will field it and try to return. He's going to get brought down at his own 12-yard line. Loses a couple yards on the return right there. So we're going to go ahead right here. Third and 10. Ronnie Bell is going to try to go to a screen play. And he's going to get sacked in the end zone. A very defensive first quarter. And it looks like the only points are going to be put up by this safety right here. It's a 2-0 lead for Arkansas State. Not something you see every day. Adam Kennedy, the last play of the first quarter, drops back, looking, has tons of time, fires it, and that's intercepted by Denarius Matthews, and Matthews could go all the way, he's at the 20, inside the 10-5 touchdown, so after it looked like it was going to be a 0-0 score at the end of the first quarter, that is going to be a 7-2 score now after Demarius Matthews picks up the interception, the pick 6 of Adam Kennedy, and it is going to be a 7-2 lead for the Georgia State Panthers as Adam Kennedy and his Arkansas State squad resume their offensive sequence on the next drive. And that is going to be a huge gain on 3rd and 11. That's going to be a first down and a lot more. 42-yard pickup for Julian Jones. Now 1st and 10. Adam Kennedy out of the pistol. Hands it off to David Oku. Oku's got a first down right there. Can he get it? Yes, he can. So that's a 10-yard pickup for Oku. Now 3rd and 11. Once again, faced with a tough situation. Arkansas State needs a first down right here if they want to continue their drive. It's going to be dropped by their uh, wide receiver right there. That's going to set up 4th and 11. They're going to go for it just out of field goal range for this weak kicking team. Into the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown. Jonah Hill, not the actor. Jonah Hill, the receiver, or I believe he might be a tight end, actually. He's going to pick up the touchdown right there. 
and Arkansas State retakes the lead. It's going to be a 9-2 ball game potentially after this extra point. So now later in the game, 339 left in the second quarter, and Arkansas State's going to take over on about the 45-yard line. Going deep, that's going to be caught by RJ Fleming. Fleming, a huge pickup right there. And Arkansas State in scoring position once again, third and four. Kennedy looking to the end zone. That's going to be caught by Julian Jones as he beat the press coverage right there. And that's an 11-yard touchdown. So Arkansas State's going to take a 16-7 to lead after the ensuing PAT. So Arkansas State, you know, really looking good at this point. Their offense really picked it up in that second quarter. But we're going to try and get some points up before the half is over. Travis Evans picks up eight yards in the first down right there. That's going to set up a new set of downs now in second and ten later in the drive. Ronnie Bell looking to the left side, finds Danny Williams on the corner out, and Williams is off to the races. No one to beat, and he's going to find his way into the end zone for the touchdown, a 65-yard touchdown hookup between Ronnie Bell, and that was just Bell's second completion of the day, but boy, was it a big one. He's had a rough start to this game so far, but he picks it up right there, and we got a new score as it's going to be 16 to 14, five seconds left in the half. The last Hail Mary attempt for Arkansas State going deep. That's going to be deflected by Demarius Matthews. His good half continues. And we're going to head into the half with a two-point deficit, 16-14. to 14, That safety proving to be the difference at this point in the ball game as Arkansas State takes a lead into the half. They are coming into this game with a uh, record of, I believe, 7-3 and three in the upper half of the Sun Belt standings. This would be a huge win for Georgia State. Bell on the play action gives it to Danny Williams for the curl route, 13-yard reception right there. Second and six coming up. It's going to be a read option handoff to Travis Evans. Evans picks up the six-yard gain and the first down right there. So Georgia State's going to continue its drive, 644 and counting left in the third quarter. Here's a little power run right here to Travis Evans. Evans to the outside. He's got a lot of speed. He's going to make a cut and pick up a nice chunk right there inside of the 15-yard line now at about inside the 10, third and five coming up. Ronnie Bell, he's going to look over the middle. Albert Wilson in the end zone. For the touchdown, he gets hit late. Surprise, no flag there, but check out this. This is a pretty cool picture right there. I did not uh, know they could do that in the game. We're going to go for two here, and we're going to actually throw an interception on the two-point conversion. But anyway, back to that little picture. I actually used that as a thumbnail my last channel update. thought that was pretty cool. I have uh, never seen that animation before. Actually, I saw it in an online game. Like, not an online game. I saw it in... I think I can't remember where I saw it, but I saw it recently. I don't know where, but... Anyway, third and 11 coming up for Arkansas State in the next drive. He's going to find David Oku once again. The halfback doing a lot of work out of the back door right here. So second and eight coming up. Handoff to Oku. Oku's going to end up picking up seven yards. And that will set up a third and one for Arkansas State. We did not convert that two-point conversion to make it a six-point game. So it's down to a four-point game. Now first and ten. Kennedy dropping back. He's going to scramble to his left. And he's going to make a guy miss. And he's got some room. He's got a block. And he's going to pick up a huge chunk right there. Inside of the 15-yard line. Adam Kennedy making plays. Not Adam Kennedy, the baseball player. Adam Kennedy, the quarterback for Arkansas State. This Arkansas State team has some interesting names. But anyway, that's going to be a bad throw by Kennedy, and that's going to set up a 4th and 9. So on 4th and 9, they're going to bring out their field goal unit, and this is going to make it a 1-point game. 20-19 to is your score after that field goal is up and good. And here we go on the next drive for the Georgia State Panthers. We got under 3 minutes to play in the third quarter. Bell looking over the middle. Finds Jordan Giles, and Giles is going to pick up the first down. Now we got across midfield. Here's second and seven from about the 45-yard line. Triple read option. Bell on the keeper. He's got some room. Cuts back in and picks up the first down. So here we go now later in the drive on first and ten. A read option coming up. Bell is going to keep it as the left end made a nice attempt at the rush right there. I believe that was the right end. But either way, Bell keeps it. Second and two coming up now. Third and one. A little power run inside the 15-yard line at this point. Evans is going to pick up the first down. We get a new set of downs. So Travis Evans does get a little bit banged up on that play, however. We're going to have to bring in Gerald House to back up. Here's a little play action. Bell looking through the air. He's got a man back of the end zone. Danny Williams. Touchdown, Georgia State. And we extend our lead. A chance to go up by eight at this point. And here we go. We got a studio update coming in. Kentucky giving Georgia a run for its money. Georgia ranked number five in the country. Kentucky only three and seven on the season. It's been a disappointing year for the Wildcats. But they have a chance at redemption right there. Now, Travis Evans did break his finger. He has a high injury risk. But we're going to bring him back in. We need this win. We know what we got coming next week. We know that's going to be a tough game. We know we need a win this week. And we know we got to pull out all the stops. Travis Evans is going to fight through the pain, fight through the high injury risk, and play the rest of this ball game. 
So second 11, Adam Kennedy handing it off to David Oku. Oku on the carry to the right side, picks up the first down, and here come the Arkansas State Wolverines. Now third and four, Kennedy shotgun set. It's going to be a little play action. No, it's a keeper by Adam Kennedy. He's only going to pick up two yards. That's going to set up a fourth and two, and they're going to end up going for it here from about midfield, and they're going to get a false start penalty. Oh, wow, that is a huge, huge turning point in this ball game because you're on fourth and seven here comes Adam Kennedy out of the shotgun set he's gonna end up having to scramble he's gonna be tripped up and brought down and they're gonna turn the ball over now how would that have ended up if they didn't commit the false start penalty the world may never know but for now they do not get it they do not get the first down and Travis Evans coming back on that broken finger and every time he got hit I was so concerned if he's gonna get hit and uh, hurt seriously Bell's gonna keep it right here on the read option he's gonna slide to be sure don't want to turn the ball over at this point we're trying to run clock and if we even get a field goal it becomes a two possession game so we cannot turn the ball over Travis Evans on the handoff to the outside cuts back in and look at that he threw his own man to the ground. If you look at that closely, take a look at the replay there. He kind of barreled over his own man and got into the end zone. So we end up taking a 34 to 19 lead. It's a 15 point game, a two touchdown game. Adam Kennedy gets sacked right there. That's going to set up a fourth and 18 coming up. And on fourth and 18, we're going two man under for D. This is pretty much the game. Kennedy gets hit as he throws. That will be incomplete. Georgia State takes over, and we're going to end up kneeling out the rest of this clock. That is going to be your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Georgia State takes home the victory, 34-19. Courageous effort by some of the guys, Travis Evans included, especially playing on that broken finger. But a road team coming into this uh, this environment in Arkansas State, which is a very, very loud crowd, a night game, primetime game in the cold. Very tough environment to win a road game in, but we do very nicely. Danny Williams only had three catches, but two of them were touchdowns. One of them was that 65-yarder earlier. That was a very nice play by the uh, quarterback and wide receiver combo of Ronnie Bell and Danny Williams. Anyway, we take home this victory, and you know what's coming up next week, guys. That rivalry game with South Alabama, a.k.a. Burns, in this dynasty. So anyway, here we go. You guys already know that game is going to be insane. So anyway, we're going to try and put that video out to you guys in the coming days. We'll see. When we get it out to you guys, but uh, stay tuned. It's going to be crazy. So anyway, that's going to wrap this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And so I'm out. Peace.